ARK Invest has just released an explosive new price target for Tesla by 2029, focusing heavily on the potential of an autonomous robotaxi platform. They've set an eye-popping $2,600 per share target, up from their previous five-year projection of $2,000 per share. For reference, Tesla trades at $183 today, so this represents a stunning expectation and prediction of Tesla's value creation over the next five years. Interestingly, however, despite their increasingly bullish stance, ARK Invest has actually lowered Tesla's 2029 electric vehicle production estimates below their 2027 prediction. While this may seem bearish at first glance, it could actually be a strategic move, suggesting a more efficient capital structure and profitable future at Tesla. Elon Musk says that ARK Invest analysis is the most accurate he's seen, so let's delve into ARK's bold predictions and what they mean for Tesla's future. One of the reasons why investment firm ARK Invest is worth listening to is because they stand by a five-year time horizon, allowing them to focus on long-term growth trends and potential developments within the company. Short-term horizons are influenced by news, speculation, and market volatility, but by looking five years out, they can consider and capture the value created by business expansion, innovations that are developed, and management execution. And ARK has a great track record with Tesla. Back in 2018, they forecasted a $4,000 price target while the stock was trading at a split-adjusted $300 per share. And the highest Wall Street estimate at the time was just $500, which was still extremely bullish. Just three years later, in 2021, Tesla smashed through ARK's $4,000 price target, and this was two years earlier than even ARK anticipated. However, since 2021, Tesla's stock has been in decline. But ARK Invest is looking at what's brewing within the company itself as it prepares for its next phase of growth. Last year, ARK put out its research paper showing that by 2027, Tesla's robo-taxi business which is dependent on Tesla's full self-driving software and Tesla's unreleased Tesla network software, which is essentially their Uber-like phone app, will make up about half of Tesla's revenue and an astounding two-thirds of their earnings. Keep in mind that they still see massive growth from electric vehicles. And even today, Tesla makes about $100 billion in revenue, mainly from vehicles. So they expect by 2027 that robo-taxis which don't exist today in any meaningful way, will explode higher to match the gigantic vehicle business as it will be in 2027. A robotaxi business would deliver high margin software revenue, which is why if this were the case, it would contribute to earnings far more than vehicles. Interestingly, ARK Invest also includes a fairly large human driven ride hailing business, which they've been advocating for quite some time and believe Tesla should start there, even though Elon Musk has said no to this idea. It seems like they're referring to a direct copy of Uber with no autonomous software at all in order to gain experience with ride-hailing businesses before transitioning to autonomy. Elon Musk doesn't seem to care about this type of business, however, which I like because he's focused on one thing, which is robo-taxis, and that's what's going to deliver the true value creation. Now, arguably, there could be a sort of hybrid approach at the beginning, where upon launching this new robotaxi service, everything is done automatically, but there's still a human supervisor in the mix. But to me, that's not a human-driven network. So it's a little strange why ARK is still talking about human-driven ride-hailing when Elon Musk even said that the company wasn't even working on it. Now, ARK Invest's Tasha Keeney, Sam Corris, and Daniel McGuire have just put up a new report for valuing Tesla in 2029, and they've updated their views. While they still mention the human-driven ride-hailing network, it's not even showing up in the numbers. Robotaxis have essentially swallowed Tesla's entire business, according to ARK in 2029. Even vehicles only account for 10% of Tesla's future earnings. So ARK is essentially going all in on Robotaxi and their confidence is actually quite high. In last year's report for 2027, they predicted that Robotaxi services would be launched within the next five years, most likely in 2024, 2025, or 2026. 
They assigned a high probability for 2023 at the time, but even then it didn't seem like it was ready. You need virtually zero interventions to launch robo-taxis. Today, Tesla doesn't have that yet, with versions 12.3 or early 12.4. However, there are some incredibly encouraging signs that imply major progress towards launching a robo-taxi network. Tesla is no longer compute constrained. As a matter of fact, they've added more compute in the prior three months than their entire history combined. And they're not stopping there, with Elon Musk boosting spending on Nvidia chips, on Dojo, and on Tesla's own inference chip for the data center. Tesla also surpassed a billion FSD miles not long ago. They appear to be closer to 1.5 billion now. Elon Musk said at the recent annual shareholder meeting that Every time Tesla comes out with a new minor release, which would be like 12.4, 12.5, etc., and Elon thinks they should technically be major releases, but regardless, he says that Tesla will likely give out a free trial. That's very important, not just for people to try it out, which encourages them to subscribe or buy it, but even more so for Tesla to get a huge inflow of data with this new software to fix bugs and find edge cases. If Tesla isn't compute constrained, then they need as much data as possible. And Elon Musk has said that with the new internal versions like 12.5 or 12.6, which aren't released yet, they're not seeing interventions for a year of driving. Now that's really positive news, but it may still not be enough, as you still can't have an intervention in every car per year. Tesla's data, adjusted by ARK Invest for surface roads, shows that FSD in 2023 was five times safer than a human-driven Tesla and 16 times safer than the average car. However, these numbers imply that FSD is still being aided by a human. It would be interesting to know the non-human supervised number, which seems to be what Elon is trying to convey based on internal testing, but it hasn't been tried in real life yet by Tesla. Nevertheless, to me, the rate of progress matters more than the absolute values. I've tried version 11 and version 12.3, and there's a world of difference, like mind-blowing level improvement. Personally and anecdotally, I've noticed that FSD can do some difficult things very well, but required intervention on seemingly easy things. So that seems more like a bug to me rather than some fundamental issue. And so the potential of an end-to-end -end drive from parking spot to parking spot is now very clear that it's definitely doable, and Tesla keeps rolling out new point releases with adjustments and fixes every few weeks to customers. If the interventions are getting better and more spaced out, as Elon Musk says, then more data is of utmost importance. So that's another reason why the free trial is important, especially after every big release, as Elon Musk says he intends to do. And Tesla is lucky that they can actually get this type of data from their fleet and get hundreds of millions of miles quickly, while this isn't possible for anyone else. And so the rate of interventions, based on what Elon is saying, appears to be diminishing exponentially, if not faster. And this is another reason why ARK Invest hasn't budged on their robo-taxi estimate, and still believes 2025 or 2026 will be the launch. Now I'm a tiny bit surprised that they didn't include the current year as they've done in the past, especially with Tesla's August 8th robo-taxi event coming up. I think that Tesla could actually launch a robo-taxi service at a small scale before they expand nationwide and before it's completely working, especially in certain areas of California, which have the highest concentration of Tesla vehicles, which should technically improve the training for that area. Launching at a small scale first would iron out bugs for the Tesla network, which hasn't gone to any consumers yet. Elon Musk also said recently that if a robo-taxi gets stuck, it could phone home base to ask a human for help, something that other self-driving companies like Cruise, for instance, have done for a while now. ARK Invest has also increased their valuation for Tesla for 2029, and I've compiled this chart to compare ARK's numbers with their 2027 estimates from last year's report, as we'll soon see. For some reason last year they only had a four-year time horizon. I'd also like to say that if you're having trouble wrapping your head around the valuation, this is the actual focus of ARK's research. It's hard to predict exactly when FSD robotaxis will launch, and frankly I would say that it doesn't matter too much given that none of Tesla's competitors, at least in the US, have anything at all as far as I'm concerned. 
They lack vehicles with the hardware, it's prohibitively expensive, they're still using LiDAR, and that's prevented them from getting real-world data. There also isn't a single automaker that's investing into data centers, and Tesla ranks among the top companies in the world for buying NVIDIA GPUs in the billions of dollars, not to mention their own in-house dojo hardware in addition to that. Furthermore, it really hit me when I was sitting in the car and it was driving itself on the highway, and you realize that there's nothing for you to do. Said differently, you could be doing something else. This may seem obvious, but the self-driving has never been done before for personal vehicles. You need to be the one driving your car. But for the first time, it's coming to light that there's that potential that the software can get there quite soon, where you don't need to drive your car and you can eventually, instead, work or watch a movie or check your phone, etc. So again, at the risk of stating the obvious, that will be huge for productivity and will free up tons of wasted time. And Tesla is primed to capture that value by slashing the cost of transportation, but by skyrocketing the usage of robo-taxi services on Tesla's own platform. And so ARK Invest estimates that by 2029, Tesla will be selling 5.8 to 14.4 million cars per year. They'll be generating $394 billion in revenue from this at the high end. But robo-taxi revenue will eclipse vehicle sales at $951 billion in the bull case, up 50% from ARC's 2027 bull case, and the margins will be extremely high at over 50%. This translates into a $10 trillion company, with a $3,100 share price in the bull case, or a $7 trillion company at $2,000 per share in the bear case, provided robo-taxis hit. And again, that's up about 50% over ARC's 2027 estimates. Now I also want to circle back to cars sold. The 5.8 to 14.4 million by 2029 are actually down from ARC's 2027 estimates of 10.3 million to 20.7 million. This is two years later, going from 2027 to 2029, and it's much less bullish than ARC was before. Or is it? I think ARC is less bullish on their Tesla vehicle sales numbers. However, as Elon Musk recently confirmed at Tesla's annual meeting on June 13th, that Tesla will have its own fleet of robo-taxis. ARC does mention this in their report, but doesn't directly say that this impacted their future sales numbers. Instead, they say that based on current trends, sales in the future could be lower essentially. However, I think that counterintuitively, Tesla could sell fewer vehicles to consumers in a robo-taxi scenario, since they would collect 100% of the service revenue, which should be far more profitable than selling the car itself. So in the future, vehicle sales may dip down if robo-taxi proves to be extremely profitable. And over time, Tesla will be able to balance selling cars to consumers versus using them to build out their own network in new geographies. They can divert the cars to whichever business makes more sense at the time. Finally, ARK acknowledges that there are many Tesla businesses that are left out of their model, such as Tesla Semi, Supercharger Network, FSD Licensing, and AI as a Service. I think there are also new vehicle types that we can assume Tesla will have by 2029, like a van for example, and Tesla has talked about boats and planes, and also other industrial methods of reducing fossil fuel usage, as discussed in their Master Plan Part 3 presentation which could all be major businesses. Interestingly, ARK Invest does include a small section for the Optimus robot, estimating a production of roughly 5,500 units in 2029, and having almost 10,000 units already cumulatively by then. They seem to be looking at mainly having the robot in Tesla's own factory, but according to Elon Musk, Tesla could be selling these to consumers as early as 2026. Even if they're late by a few years, Optimus could grow beyond Tesla's factory by 2029, and I think Optimus is easier to produce and is easier to deploy than FSD, as discussed in my last video. ARK Invest's report is all about autonomy, and they have a very detailed robo-taxi valuation, which has piqued even Elon Musk's interest. While Tesla has more to it than just robo-taxis, ARK Invest is preparing for the next technology wave that will propel Tesla to new levels. 
So what do you think about ARK's focus on an autonomous robotaxi platform as the main driver of Tesla's future growth? And what do you think is the probability of Tesla achieving ARK's valuation by 2029? Don't forget to watch my last video on Tesla's tech tree and the massive potential for the Optimus humanoid robot. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.